Isn't that the most incredible scene? Look at these beautiful herd has all started to come out and there are so many elephants. They're all walking all over Twin Dams at the moment. There's babies everywhere, there's moms. It is quite a special scene. If we maybe come out a little bit of them, you'll get the others in the background as well, which is quite nice. So you can see there all along Treehouse Dam wall, I mean Twin Dam wall, there's a whole bunch of Ellie's coming down and they just seem to be emerging from everywhere. They seems to be a massive herd that's coming through. I would reckon that already at least there's probably 30 elephants here, maybe more. So it is really quite a massive herd and it's a beautiful sight with this morning light just coming through the trees onto them, providing a bit of side lighting. You can see all the females are bunched together there and the little babies are taking advantage and now all having a little bit of a suckle which is very nice. What a beautiful sight that is. It's amazing because we when we first arrived here we only saw one or two elephants. I didn't realize that there was nearly as many as we have now. They literally are just popping out of the woodwork as we go and at one point they were all going straight southwards and now they've changed direction and are coming straight north towards us. Maybe they want to have a bit of shade and drink at the dam before they carry on. But you can see there's a little bit of sand bathing going on as well. That's just to keep the skin in good conditions. So that little young one in front is throwing sand on it and that exfoliates the skin and gets rid of any little parasites that they can have as well as any skin cells and keeps their skin in really good condition. Now the skin is very important for an elephant because it helps with cooling And so the skin is actually wrinkly, which causes a greater surface area, which helps them release heat a lot better, which is quite amazing. Now, Cheryl, you want to know what an elephant can do with its trunk. Well, it's probably the most versatile appendage out of any of the appendages out here in Africa. It acts as a multiple tool, basically. It's like one of those multi-tools, like a Leatherman for an elephant. So you use it to be able to smell up and sniffing then they will also use it to drink water so they put their trunks into the water and suck up vast quantities of water and then able to spray it into the mouth so that they can drink they use it to help them with feeding as you can see here they're using it to help with keeping the body clean so they're picking up parts of sort of trunkfuls of soil and throwing it over their backs and their and their sides and their tummies which as I was saying just now acts as an exfoliant so the trunk is used for multiple things it's also used in defense sometimes if they're being attacked by something you'll see that they'll throw their, their trunk out and try and knock it over so the trunk is very useful there you can see one is busy scenting so it's using the wind and smelling and sniffing so an amazing tool that they have now that trunk has about 150,000 muscles in it which is pretty insane that's more than the entire human body just in their modified nose effectively which is pretty incredible isn't this amazing though and it looks like they've decided that this is where they want to sleep all the females seem to have their eyes closed the little ones are just moving around and about but all the females tend to have their heads down and it's almost as though they're going into a little nap phase maybe this is where they decided to have a morning snooze and I can't imagine a better spot so there's a little bit of sun coming through now which is just probably warming them up and it is really pretty looking down towards the dam from here it's an amazing place so if I was an elephant I would definitely be in the same place as well and there's lots of little ones as well Tormented zombie owl. Right, I'm just going to go back a little bit so I can open a path for these guys to come through. Sorry, before they do, because some of the females were a little bit grumpy just now. So that's all that I've heard so far. You want to know why the mammary glands are located at the front, close to the legs, front legs rather than at the back? Well, their front legs are actually extensively modified.
Right, so we have a few technical issues and signal is not very good. So while all these Ellie's file past us, let's go back to James and see how he's doing with 